Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah and I'm very very much happy to have you on board. This is lesson 6 on number random and uh, we are going to discuss binomial distribution. But then uh, before we start, first of all, subscribe to the channel and uh, to the returning subscribers. I uh, thank you very much for your continued uh, support. Now talking about binomial distribution, basically a uh, binomial distribution is a discrete distribution as it uh, describes the outcome of a binary scenarios. Like uh, for example, if you toss a coin, it will be either a head or a tail. It has uh, three parameters. We have a uh, N, which stands for the number of trials, and then a P, uh, which stands for the probability of the occurrence. Like um, uh, the probability for tossing a coin, perhaps a 0 0.5 each, either head or a tail, and then at the size, which is the shape of the returned array. Uh, and so guys, I talked about the discrete distribution. And uh, basically guys, uh, this is the distribution which is defined by separate set of events. Like uh, when you toss a coin, the result is discrete as it can be uh, only the head or a tail. Whereas the height of a uh, people is continuous it, as it can be um, 50, 50.1, 100, 100.6, and so on. And so guys, I want us to have an example here. Uh, maybe you are given 10 trials for 20 cost, and uh, you are supposed to generate uh, 10 data uh, data points uh, based on that uh, 20 cost. So uh, the first thing that you will want to do is to import the, uh, the random. So from NumPy, uh, import import this random module random or import random then we are going to create here an object with variable x and then we are going to assign it to uh, random random dot uh, binomial 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 and then in this method I'm gonna add several parameters uh, the first one is uh, you know uh, n which is stand for the number of trials of which we said um, perhaps 10 and then uh, the other thing the probability for toss tossing a coin is either head or a tail so there's al always two probability of which is a half a half so it should be 0 0.5 remember probability should not surpass a one and so uh, and then also the size uh, the size and uh, the size parameter uh, it, it describes the shape of the returned array now if i give it 10 basically guys it will return uh you know uh, 10 values in the array list so what i do uh here um here guys uh, i'm gonna print out let me say print this x x then uh, to the terminal then I guess you can see that we have this uh, array list with, with the 10 uh, values. And so guys, let's now discuss how to visualize uh, a binomial distribution. So guys, in this case, the first thing that you want to do is to import first of all the, uh, the random uh, the random uh, module, and then also the matplotlib. So we are going to say import uh, import mat sorry mat up mat up mat plot lib sorry mat a plot lib uh, dot uh, pi pi plot is it the spelling for pi plot but then we are importing it is an alias plt and remember the name is name so the alias uh, help us to you know to use a shorter version of the uh, of the module then also we are going to import the the Seaborn Seaborn uh, library. So Seaborn, and then uh, as a as an alias S and S. And then uh, guys, in this line of code, I'm gonna say uh, S uh, S and S dot uh, dist plot dist plot dist plot. Um, remember this plot object help us to visualize our graph. Now uh, here, I'm gonna add uh, a method here. Actually, a method here random. 
a random dot a binomial Bino, binomial I think this is the spelling for binomial binomial and then uh, here I'm gonna add several parameters the first one is a the number of trials perhaps I'm gonna say 10 and then uh, the probability is either uh, head or tail so it's gonna be half half so p I'm gonna give it 0 0.5 of which is the same as a half one point one over five a half and then now uh, the size of the returned array I'm gonna give it um 100 or perhaps let me say 1000 and then um and then again uh, let's also add the histogram so I'm gonna add this parameter let me say hist and then I'm gonna give it a uh, true and then at the last uh, parameter I'm gonna say KDE I'm gonna give it um, false remember true or false is a, is a building keyword in Python basically they are booleans they are inbuilt keywords in Python so he, he should be false a uh, false a uh, false and then now uh, to, to, to view the graph we are going to use PLT PLT dot uh, dot show uh, dot show uh, dot show now uh, let's run these codes uh, and so guys uh, basically this is how we can uh, visualize a binomial distribution but then uh, let's understand the difference between a, norm, a normal and a, a binomial distribution uh, basically guys uh, the main difference is that uh, the normal distribution is continuous whereas a binomial is discrete but if there are enough data points it will be quite similar to normal distribution with certain log and a scale and so guys basically this is what i wanted to show you in this uh, tutorial and i think you have understood binomial distribution so guys please consider subscribing to the channel like and share the video to your friends until next time this is nehemiah goodbye